Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, d Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. And um, I got them mad, man. I have them so mad, I don't care. See what I mean? They always talk about playing chess. This is very tactical, you know? Some of y'all getting upset. Don't get upset when they try to slander me. Just chill and think about it. Now, this is the thing, and I will tell you this, and I went over some things yesterday, but I'm going to put this uh, whole Joel thing to bed. Y'all remember those who are um, frequent viewers. I don't like the word fans. Fre frequent viewers of, uh, of this page and some of my other pages. I would always say that um, Waffle House and that... Um, uh, shots fired were great examples of the American bully. Uh, you know, um, even j just to stay on Joel's dog, shot fired. If you go physical characteristics, he is one of the nicer dogs out there. His look is incredible. He has an incredible look. I've seen uh, a couple videos of him in motion. He moves well. It's a very, very, very nice American bully from that aspect. And I promoted this and I told people, I said, yo, this is where it's at. You know what I mean? Uh, Waffle House is one of the better producers out there. And you know what I mean? Even though I don't too much care for his owner, it is what it is. I was very honest with that. You know what I mean? It's been years. Tone, no, I ain't messed with him in years, you know, from, from the sucker shit that he, he did to me. But I always keep it 100 about dogs, you know? I can go down a litany of people that I don't too much care for as a person, but I would never disrespect their dog. That's the difference between me and them. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm going to keep it real. And so at the end of the day, you know, what it boiled down to is this, you know, my inboxes got crazy inundated with, uh, with, um, messages and, and, and it was sort of strange. A couple friends picked the phone up and they said, yo T, um, uh, People calling me and they telling me that, you know, you should know before you promote those dogs, knowing that you're all about health, is that um, they have severe breathing issues. Like, literally, you know, uh, one guy, and this is like I say, I don't lie on here. I tell you what was, what was told to me and how it came. The one guy owned dogs from that family, uh, produced by them, and he came up and, you know, and uh, well, excuse me, someone came up to him. And he was like, man, that's got to be a Waffle House dog, you know? He was like, oh, yeah. And he's thinking it's about the look. And he was like, no, the breathing, like, dog. He's like, I can tell by the way that dog breathes. That's a Waffle House dog. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, all those dogs got that breathing problem. Your dog's not the only one that has that breathing problem. A lot of their dogs have that breathing problem, you know? And this is real real shit. There's people who, who watch the page will attest to, to this. And... Slowly but surely, you know what I mean? It was like an avalanche. More and more people kept coming at me and then I mentioned it and a bunch of people came through. Then it then it became a thing of even with Joel's dog that they started talking about several dogs that have died before they were two years old. I had never heard his dog breathe. So people start sending me videos of his dog with that, you know, harsh breathing, that gurgling sound. As a matter of fact, they sent me some clips last night while he was making a live and you could hear the dog like, arr, arr, you know, that sound. And I'm like, oh, no. And I've sat here and I've explained this many and many a times is that the breathing issues, it's it's a death sentence in the long run. The dog is too big. For those who don't know about breathing, your, your, the body needs oxygen. If the oxygen levels are low, it affects the kidneys, the organs. It affects these things. You know, ultimately, if you can't breathe, you'll die one way or the other, whether it's just from not being able to breathe or the lack of uh, consistent oxygen through the system. It will break the dog down. This is why it's in the bylaws of basically every registry that you should not breathe these type of conditions. Even the a ABKC has that in their, in their uh, whatever you want to call it, code of conduct or bylaws or whatever it is. They have that in there that they do not want these dogs bred with those type of conditions. AKC, same thing. UKC, same thing. Any registry, any breed, uh, you know, breeding, whatever around the world will tell you, do not breed with elongated palates, and it does not make it all right if you do surgeries. So 
as this thing goes along and I started to speak against that, telling this is not the right way to breed, you know what I mean? It became a heated thing. We saw all kind of lies, pretty much. You know what I mean? From like I told y'all, where this guy literally made up this big story that keep in mind, I did not know who this guy was until about a week ago when he started talking shit on the show. But you know what I mean? But um, but he, he made up this whole big lie that he drove up to our first show and went up to the bouncer and told the bouncer that he was there to fight me or the security or whatever. And the security told him no. And he's like, okay, I'm going home. You know, I ain't going to mess up the show for you. Like, just weird shit. Like, bro, you didn't show up to fight me. And then even, even you know, telling people that I was in there scared. Let me address that part. Because some the internet tells y'all everything. I'm not the toughest guy in the world. But I will tell you guys who listen to this guy and y'all don't understand, I fight. Not just in the streets, which that stuff is not stuff that I'm embarrassed about. And I'm, I'm going to start leaving that shit alone because uh, I've grown as a man. But I fight. You know what I mean? I started off boxing when I was eight years old. I've actually been in the real boxing ring, you know what I mean, and fought professionally for a short time. I've I've been in jiu-jitsu now for a, a span of over five years. Um, I do Muay Thai. I do all of the sparring. I do all of the uh, all of the rolling. I do. I fight. You know, I find it fun. I find it great exercise. So the idea of me being afraid to fight anyone doing something that I normally like to do is asinine more so what's asinine is that this was a show where you had a, a child's dance troupe you had many of older people who were brought in as vendors it was a very very family oriented type of thing at this event why and, and and it didn't happen he didn't do this but he doesn't seem to realize and this is why i say i'm taking the internet on because i'll use your words to explain what type of person you are and what you're representing why would you go to first of all I didn't know the guy. So where was this all this anger coming from that he was willing to drive to a, a show where I got 50 of my guys at? You know what I mean? It's it's weird. But anyway, where was this anger at that you would want to come and personally fight me? You know what I mean? It, I, it just doesn't make sense. Um, second of all, all of the doors were open. We didn't have uh, people at the door, like just checking everybody. We didn't have that because it was, it was several interests there. And the vibe wasn't that, you know what I mean? We would, you know, guys would walk around and there were people sort of there if they seen you come in or whatever, or if they seen you without a bracelet and you didn't have a chance to pay, they would tell you where to pay. But it was a very, very relaxed environment. You know, the back doors was open, this door was open. It was just, it was a really good time, honestly. But, you know, that story is a lie, but this is the weird stuff that they started to do. Then it became the thing of, oh, let's attack Denzel. Let's attack this. Let's do this. Let's do that. And throughout this thing, why I say I'm ending it is because I've never been able to get into an actual conversation of why him and his counterparts are on live telling young breeders that it's okay not only to, to breed a dog that has this elongated palate, but also, you know what I mean, to breed it to another dog that has it. And if anything goes wrong, just have the dog have a surgery. That is unethical as a dog man in general. We've never been able to uh, uh, get into the conversation of why he bred a dog with a heart murmur. That is unethical in dog terms. That's all I've really ever been talking about. All the other stuff, like you say, he like he says, is chess. So yes, I will use you to drive the algorithm to get the numbers up, to spread the message of healthy dogs matter and let you make a fool out of yourself. But I, I don't have a personal problem with this guy. All of the stuff that he's talking about, oh, I'll send somebody to his house and I'll do this and I'll do that. Come on, man. You, you, you're 50 years old. You're already missing teeth. You don't want to lose the rest of your teeth and you don't want to lose. You don't want them problems. I'm not going to go there, but you just don't want them problems. Leave folks alone threatening people about dogs. Well, then it elevated and we saw what it all boils down to. We don't have the health conversation for one reason, because they don't care. And as of last night, he went on a live and he, he complained about the fact of all of the people calling him and telling him, you can just keep your deposit. 
Even his woman was in the background. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> but he, he he was upset about that, that people were, no, y'all going to remember this. I'm going to create something else. And I ain't showing y'all no love. Y'all going to remember how y'all did me. It's messed up. And he's angry because people are choosing to breed healthier dogs that will not have these issues and push forward in that in that way. This is where this whole discussion has started from. This is the only thing that this discussion is about. I am very, very, as you see, I, I, I have fun with what I do. I enjoy myself. I am not worried about any physical encounters from these people. I'm not worried about any of the things they say. I'm not worried about any of their slander because um, you can tell all the lies in the world. You can make up things. You can do all of these things. I am here to tell you, if you have a deposit ever in your life, you can always get, you can always get your deposit put towards whatever you want to buy. It's that simple. And many people have come on these posts and they've all, all told y'all that. I called him two, three years later. I called him there. Y'all seen on the live, people was like, oh man, he, he told me, you know, uh, come back whenever. And, and he, you know, it, that's the way it is. You know what I mean? It, it, those things are all things to try to, let's say, damage my character, but not talk, you know, on the actual topic of healthy dogs. And it's a diversion. It's, it's this white noise. It's things that these people are going to do all over the internet to keep on making up different things. And I want y'all to stay focused, stay locked in on the idea of breeding a healthy dog. As you see, I had no problem talking about how nice their dogs were until I found out that they had a very, very serious issue, an issue that he says only 20% of their dogs come out. Well, you saying only 20%, but you want to breed this dog 15, 20, you know, 30 times in a year. That 20% becomes a large number when you put out a couple hundred puppies a year. That means that you put another 40 puppies. Uh, if it's a couple hundred, you put another 40 puppies out there in the world that has this condition and even more that has it in their genetics, even though they're not showing it. So if it's doubled down and they line breed, your, uh, line breed to your blood, or another blood like Dax blood that is known to have this, it is a very high probability that you have more dogs with breathing issues. And we have a community that is loaded with breathing issues. We have a community where a lot of dogs die because of breathing issues. Their dogs have died early for, uh, of breathing issues. It was brought to me that even Shots Fire's sibling died at a young age from a breathing issue. He's had offspring that have died from a breathing issue. Um, you know, you go all the way to a dog that's in their lineage, World Star. I think he was like 18 months. The dog died from a breathing issue just walking around Home Depot. This is what I'm talking about. I don't care. I'm 40 plus years old. I don't care about all of that stuff. I've been gangster. You know what I mean? I don't mind fighting, but it's to me, it's childish to, uh, to argue and fight over a dog. And it's childish for me to have to do what I would do to you. You know what I mean? Those who know me know is I, I don't shy away from fights, man. I'm, I'm a solid built guy. I'm extremely strong and I got a special set of skills. I like to fight just for fun. I'm going to be fighting just for fun in a couple weeks. You know what I mean? It's not it's not a problem, but you don't do that as adults. We talk about the topic and this specific topic is that you're polluting a gene pool of dogs that already is very, very polluted with more issues that will cause the dogs to die. Heart murmurs, elongated palates, soft palates, whatever you want to say. And um, it, it, it it's hurting a breed. You know what I mean? This is the same thing that you would hear from the AKC in a nicer way, the UKC, the EBKC, the WBA. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, what is that? The, the Colombian... Uh, the, the, the Colombian Kennel Club Association that I've judged down there with them before. You you know, I could keep on naming off all these associations. Everybody has the same mandate, but in this community, because it's so damn ghetto, we just don't have that mandate. People think that they can do whatever they want, and they think that they can talk bad about people, and it it changes the narrative. It doesn't change the narrative. Healthy dogs matter. Breathing matters. Living matters. And that's it, you know? You can't change that narrative. But uh, like I say, I, I promise you guys, you'll never hear me, well, specifically make a video. Somebody, he might jump on a live and try to troll, but I'm going to do my best to ignore him, you know what I mean? But this is what it was all about. I don't know the man personally. And to be honest, even though he acts very, very childish and he says stupid shit, 
God bless the brother and his family. And hopefully he gets his shit together and gets an understanding so that the work that he's doing as a breeder can be put towards a positive way and not this destructive way in the community and just worried about the money that he's losing and going on tyrants about uh, tirades about that. But until next time, y'all, God, <laughs> God bless. Much love. Peace.